every time I walk home from the gym now, it starts to rain, which is actually quite nice after um, after a pretty solid workout. Um, sorry, I'm gonna hit by a car. There we go. Um, but yeah, you yeah, know, it's pretty nice going to the gym and then London happens. Is my hair wet because of sweat or rain? You never know. So I was shaving and I cut my face. Happy Halloween! I'm in a slasher film with myself. Happy Halloween! You know, happy Halloween, guys. Holy shit. Candy corn this is all I got this Halloween. I mean, like, <laughs> this island sucks with Halloween. You know how much I fucking hate it? Oi, you guys! Welcome, lads and lasses. Water bottle. <laughs> I don't know what this is anymore. <laughs> I have lost control of my life for the past two years and two months. And I'm okay. Welcome back to the British Weekly Vlog. Um, what is going good, guys? What was um, the week? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Um, but yeah, no, it was alright. Um, happy post-Halloween. Happy Day of the Dead. <laughs> uh, November 1st. Um, so, what... Halloween. I miss Halloween. I've said this every year. I, you know, I go on social media and I see all of my friends <laughs> at Halloween weekend parties dressing up and stuff. And that just does not exist over here. Like, there is nothing Halloween here. And it sucks. It really sucks. So I kind of felt left out this weekend. <laughs> but hey, I chose to live here. So I had to live with that decision. I kind of hope, though, for Halloween 2024, I'm stateside for that. Because, dear God, I want to do something Halloween. What if I could wear, you know, a fucking Peter Griffin costume and get drunk off my ass and th th there's no consequences? <laughs> I mean, I could do that today, <laughs> but... Um, Therefore, it be some consequences. <laughs> but yeah, no, I really miss Halloween. But I hope everybody had a good Halloween weekend. Um, next year. Next year. The vlog won't exist next year, but I will exist, hopefully. Let's hope come May that just my life just doesn't end. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Halloween, I miss it. I really do. Um, what else besides the thing? No, that's about it. Pokemon this week, uh, in game class, uh, game studies. Um, the teacher, okay, I am quoting here, I am quoting my professor, <laughs> who said, uh, people with more neuro, who have uh, been diagnosed with neurodivergent, um, uh, who have been diagnosed ne neurodivergent are more likely to collect them all in Pokemon because that is that is a trait among neurodivergent people and oh my god it clicked <laughs> um there was a guy there who really enjoyed Pokemon uh and he was like oh yeah I have ADHD ASD everything and I was like and the professor was like, wow, you are a spitted image of a gross Pokemon fan. I was just like, holy shit. I'm kind of on the professor's side here. But, you don't have to say it out loud. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, that was kind of fun. Fuck Pokemon, I mean, yeah. Um, so next week is reading week. If you remembers, remembers, remember for previous years, I have a week off. So I don't have class until the 13th, which is very nice. Sort of. Uh, <laughs> I gotta work. I have a. I finished an essay for game studies uh, this afternoon. 
I did on Pikmin 2, because I'm a virgin. Um, so I did that. Um, and then I have an essay for War and Terror I have to do uh, sometime during the week. I do on the 20th, so I have a bunch of time, but get ahead of the game. Um, did I talk about Codif last week? I don't even remember. If I didn't, <laughs> what I don't even remember last week. Um, on the eighth of November, during reading week, I am going to Codif, um, just for a day, just for myself, because I want to see it. I want to get out of England. I want to see Wales. I don't think there's much to do there. I think there's like one or two museums, um, and some like beautiful uh, architecture. But, uh, hey, it's something to do on Reading Week. I got noth nothing planned, so. Um, there you go. I'm going to Cardiff on the 8th, so that will be, oh, one week from today. So, oh, God, I gotta film the weekly vlog after that. <laughs> that vlog might be a day late, <laughs> just in case. Um, other than that, I guess I should say this. Um, I don't know. <sighs> okay. This is quite possibly the biggest thing to happen to me in my life, <laughs> honestly. Um, so, and it screams fucking that, don't it? Um, uh, if you were watching the vlog <laughs> back in January... You will remember I was hungover for my first time, and certainly not the last. Um, and I had to do a. Uh, I got hungover at a at a girls' night I went to, um, and then the next day I had to write a Bill Clinton take home exam essay. Um, and I did that, um, but I did it hungover. I ate a box of like eight and Entelman um what are the Entem Entelman donuts? And I was thinking about what was said at Girls Night, which I can't say what I can't say what happened there, but Oh my god <laughs> it, it hasn't left my brain since January. Um but okay. That was January, submitted the paper. I wanna say beginning of March. Uh, I got my grade for the paperback from my professor. Um, which, by the way, if you remember from last year, I fucking loved Bill Clinton. Like, I did so much, and honestly, he's probably my favorite president to study. Um, so I did, and I did exceptionally well on this paper. Keep in mind, I was hungover. <laughs> like, um, I got a 99 out of 100. Which, I don't know, I, I don't know what that means. In American terms. I'm sorry. Like, I, I wish I could. But it's, like, higher than an A+. Plus, which sounds... Not feasible. But it is. I don't understand. I, I wish I could answer, but I've been here for my third year, and I don't know. <laughs> so... Um... It was an exceptional paper. Like, the literally the best paper... He's ever graded on Bill Clinton. <laughs> which is very pathetic. Because I do not deserve that. Um, flash forward to Monday of this week. So, the 30th, whatever it was. I saw this professor. He he said, hey, Nat, would you like to... I would like to uh, have just a 20-minute meeting with you. That's all right. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. <sighs> My God. Um, I... He basically just said... Uh, so regarding your, uh, Clinton exam from back in, back in the, uh, beginning of this year, you have been chosen, <laughs> brace yourself, my god, you have been chosen by University of Oxford to present your paper to a room of scholars and Oxford professors to receive an, uh, Outstanding Achievement Award for Queen Mary. So, <laughs> I hate to sound so boastful, egotistical, but I am so proud of myself, but I also don't think I deserve this. <laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> Thursday the 2nd, 
I will be at Oxford University, that one, the number one school in the world. Um, and I'm reading off, it's like a 10 minute I get to read off that Clinton essay to a room of some of the best people in my field. I, 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 am, I, I, I was emotional uh, Monday, because this is a dream of mine. Uh, and I get it already is, I'm so lucky, I, 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 I don't, again, I don't deserve this, <laughs> I, uh, so, yeah, I'll be, I mean, I'll be in Oxford all day tomorrow, um, which is incomprehensible, incomprehensible, um, I can't speak, why am I gonna, why am I supposed to do this, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go cry right now, actually, <laughs> I hope tomorrow's fine, um, but, yeah, um, that's that, um, I, you know, I, I, I don't deserve it, <laughs> I, I got trying to form my words here, um, that, you know, a dream of mine to present a paper I'm passionate about to a room of educated, like-minded people, I'm gonna make connections with these people, you know, someone in that auditorium will be a future prime minister of this country like i don't know if anyone understands that like <laughs> uh, and just like i don't I, I don't actually get the award i get it when i'm a 10-year queen mary alumnum so in like um 20 34 that date doesn't sound real to me <laughs> um yeah 2020 2034 um which, okay, whatever, I don't care, I don't need all this, <laughs> like, I'm a fucking celebrity, uh, <laughs> but, um, so, I'm a, uh, speechless <laughs> is the right word, um, uh, well, no, I'm gonna have to give a speech tomorrow, but, I think there's other, but it's, like, literally the best paper written, oh, they're celebrating for me, uh, the best paper written, in contemporary American history, in all of Britain, for uh, 2023. Um, my God. <laughs> so yeah, I hate to sound so boastful or whatever, but I, 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 you know, I had that vlog like f four weeks ago or whatever, where I just felt like shit. And I literally thought, oh my god, I'm the unluckiest person in the world. But then I come back, and like, honestly, like, I could not have written that paper without going through that girls' night. <laughs> like, 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 the fact that I got that, that hung over, like, I had to thank from the bottom of my heart, Riley, Vicky, uh, Mary, Tamara, I, I have to thank all my friends, uh, you know, for uh, Owen, Stephen, Connor, Eric, uh, Garen, Nate, Jared, uh, too many to list, for being, the, like, really the best people in the world. I, you know, I tried to wake up every day, just tried to be a nice person, and yet, I do the bare minimum, and so much good still happens to me, and I don't feel I deserve it. I don't feel I deserve it, because I drank way too much Captain Morgan that night. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, sorry I'm getting a bit emotional, but like, I, what, I, I, like, it's a dream, it's a dream. Uh, so, I'm gonna, tomorrow, everyone's gonna be in the back of my head who have got me up to this point. I could not have done it alone. Um, which, like, my god. <laughs> I can't thank the world <laughs> enough. So that's that. I gotta go to Oxford, um, which is a, the, the town of Oxford. It's very pristine. It's only about... Oh god, how, let me see my train ticket. Um, I gotta go to Marlebone, which I think... 
Uh, I don't know if I've been there on the vlog or not, so I'll try to film. It might be a bit rushed tomorrow, but... And obviously, I'm going to try to film um, Oxford itself, but I... Oxford is weird, a bit culty, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the ceremony, for me and the other ones who are presenting things from their spe uh, spe uh, specificalities, <laughs> um, that one is not being filmed, live streamed, and no photos are allowed in there. So, like, okay, I wish it was, I had a photo of me or something, but I won't, unfortunately. But I will try to film Oxford and something interesting. Um, where am I going? The train ticket. Oh, it's only an hour 15 away from London. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'll be going up there tomorrow morning, and I'll be back back here tomorrow evening. So, uh, that's an interesting way to start off reading week. <laughs> so, uh, again, I can't thank everybody in my life enough. Like, I, dear God, I miss everybody so much but I'm forging a path over here which is weird I don't know the, the part of, I like <sighs> year three is the way is the the theme of the vlog is big questions of like I thought about this because of everything I said at the beginning of the video of like the, the Halloween like I miss the US so much every day I'll be honest it's because, I mean, like, I'm an introverted extrovert. Like, I love, I, when I know someone, I will, can be out there. Like, I will do whatever, say whatever. But I suck at meeting friends, which I just haven't done over here. And I'm not too heartbroken because I had so many bad, uh, bad years with COVID, um, here. So I, I I don't get, but I also regret that I didn't do as many clubs or whatever. But again, it depends on an offer. So, but I still feel I've, I managed really well here at university. But I want to stay close to everybody. But the thing is, like, and that's just like a human thought of like, oh god, am I running out of time to be with everybody? Because. You know, high school is a distant memory now. We're all progressing in our academic careers, professional careers, you know, relationships and whatever. I don't want to be left behind, but I also don't want to be stuck in the past. I don't want to be further ahead than everybody. But I also don't want to be on my own. <laughs> like, again, the British Weekly Vlog is not a therapist. <laughs> um, you forget to look into therapy. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I would like to stay in the U.S. But I have this achievement tomorrow where, hey, I have my foot in the door now and an opportunity over here. So, like... I don't know! <laughs> uh, when... When I go back for Christmas, I'm really gonna have to chat with my parents, see how I feel, and really make some big decisions. Which I'm not ex excited for, but I am excited for in another way. I don't want to make those big decisions, but I have to, which I th is the most important thing. So, yeah. Sorry for the real talk here. I'm just like looking at my life. I'm like, oh my god, there was so much. And like, it's all happening. Holy shit, dude. Like, you know, fucking. I love life. But I'm also terrified of it. <laughs> Is that the polite way to put it? Um, yeah. I think I'm probably gonna stop with that talk. <laughs> anyway, uh, please don't think of me tomorrow because um i don't deserve it i really don't so um yeah that's it uh hopefully next week is a bit exciting because we'll have oxford and codif footage and maybe some other things i do during reading week i do have to work but 
Uh, I'm gonna go, there's a museum exhibit I'm kind of interested in. I hope I get time to do that. Um, yeah, reading week's to be fun. Unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anybody, I don't think, but um, that's fine. <laughs> it's only, fuck. Okay, so it's November. Oh, I also get a haircut. My luscious locks back here. Um, fuck, we are first, first day of November. Uh, stay strong, no nut November soldiers. Um, I don't deserve everything tomorrow. <laughs> so I have one, two, three, four, five, six weeks until I fly back to the U.S. Oh my god, I forgot about that! Back. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna tack an extra five minutes. Okay. Um, and then I'll be back in the U.S. for one, two, three, four, five weeks. So, like, life is awesome. I can't wait. Uh, sorry! <laughs> I got an email on Sunday night. Weird night to get it. Um, if you remember, I worked at the Massachusetts Lottery up in Braintree over the summer. They asked if I wanted to come back as a winter intern, which rhymes, sort of, um, for four weeks. Hell yeah, why not? Um, there'll be a lot of days off because of the Christmas, New Year's period. Um, I can take a day off if I get drunk. <laughs> and, um, I, the thing about I remember is that, um, basically... The first week of the year might actually get quite, quite busy because of um, uh, people will come back to get tax returns <laughs> for the beginning of the year. Uh, so I'll have to print off a ton of those. But other than that, it should be interesting. I love the lottery. Um, so, so if they want to take me out, they haven't responded yet, which is a bit unnerving. But I really hope I get it again. Because I would love to go back to Braintree, quite honestly. So, um, And then may maybe set up a... I could work there full-time from 2024, summer 2024 to summer 2025. As that's my gap year, where I'm still making money. But I can also travel the world, see you guys at your colleges while you're still there. I don't know. That's what I was talking about. So much is in the air right now. I don't know. But I'm excited, so uh, don't worry. <laughs> and the vlog will continue, <laughs> will it? Um, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's gonna be a good, crazy week. Interesting six weeks coming up, and then another interesting five weeks. Um, but that's the vlog. I I love my life, no matter how bullshit it gets some days, <laughs> and how much of a fucking Dumbass I am, alright? <laughs> alright, well, I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, but yeah, take care everybody. Hope everybody is doing good on their own. Um, again, thank you for everything. I know, you know, I'm getting sappy with that uh, 10 minutes ago, whatever, but um, I really do appreciate everything everybody has ever done in my life. So, yeah. What do you do? British people don't have emotions. I shouldn't give that fal false truth on here. 